Good afternoon, welcome to a new vlog. It is, oop, I'm trying to juggle too many things. Can I carry this at the same time? Yes, I can. Just received an Amazon delivery. There we go. Um, it is the first day of midterm break. The boys are off school all week and I'm happy. I'm not happy about it. I'm happy, sorry, put this down. I'm happy because um, it's a, the routine is less, you know, less, there's less thing when we need to be on time and things, so a lot less stress overall, but a lot less breaks overall too. So it's a good and bad, but I think for everybody it's actually more positive thing. So we're trying to make the most of it by resting a lot because the boys lately have been getting sick and I have actually been sick all weekend. Um, I was woke up on on Saturday feeling really, really, really sick. Uh, threw up a few times. It just it felt like either I had eaten something off or had a stomach bug, I wasn't too sure, but it, it wasn't feeling like a digestive thing, it was more like vertigo kind of thing. And then yesterday I started to get a really, really sore ear and I thought, oh, I wonder if it's related. And this morning when I woke up, so my ear, this one, um, the other side of the ear is really swollen and uh, there is fluid coming out, so I know I definitely had an ear infection. Um, through this clear there's nothing I, I have ear infections a lot and I know now it's that and since the fluid is coming out the nausea is away so I think it was just probably the pressure from my ear causing that causing like you know in the inner ear some I don't know exactly uh, I haven't felt nauseous or anything since that happened so I'm hoping it was that um, I have been Continuing my workout program, my boxing thing, is getting harder. I'm starting to use the legs more and this is making it like there's a lot more cardio involved and it's a lot more difficult moves. It requires more of the full body, but it's exactly what I want, so that's good. And today we received Just Dance and we've been playing it. So I've just had a shower because I did my workout. Then I had a little break for five minutes to set up Just Dance. And then I did three dances with Owen. I can tell you this is some proper cardio in there. So I'm gonna include that as a, as a part of my workout because I'm thinking anything that gets me moving, it gets my, my heart rate pumping and that is fun. I will, I know I will continue. And then you can unlock stuff and you can get achievements and all that. And this works so well with me. Uh, so that's good. I have also received, I had run out of photo paper to finish my album. So I've just got some there. I finally have all the pictures I need to finish it ready. I need to print everything and then finish it. And I also uh, treated myself to three new colors of paint, like this. Um, these are the Dilutions paint. They are made for our journaling and this is exactly what I use them for. I had some, I got some for Christmas. I'm gonna show you. I had got three colors. I used their paints and I used their ink sprays. So at Christmas, I got those three colors. And I got uh, the green ink spray. I already had the blue, which is matching this paint. That's what I like, that the paint and the inks match each other. This is the same. And I wanted, I mean, all the colors I have are kind of in the same um, color scheme. There are 30 colors in total. There are some that I know I wouldn't use and some I can mix easily by mixing other ones. But they are, there's a little list, like about 20 of them I would really like. Absolutely, absolutely love those paints. So I decided that I would build up the collection gradually. So for this month, I treated myself to those three. I got the Pure Sunshine, which is like a light, bright orange. The Funky Fuchsia, which is a fuchsia. And the polished jade, which I love so much. See those colors, these ones, this kind of colors, like the turquoise teal colors, that's my favorite colors. So yeah, I want to get the matching one to this one in paint. I want to get, see that's my collection so far. The inks, I don't mind, ha I, I need to have like a pinky one, just to have, you know, because this one is between, yeah, that would be, if I had a pink or even a lighter pink, but in paint there, I would like a red, I would like a green like this, and I would like a bright yellow, and a black and white. And then I could be fine, you know, with that. I mean, I could I could have more, but for now, anyway, this is already going to add so much to my collection. I'm really excited. Hello, Alfie. This place is still a mess. We need to bring all those boxes to the dump. But Eiko actually, see that pile of boxes and tubes and stuff? She loves it and she keeps playing in it. So that's why I haven't collapsed them. 
and also I might use some of them later on so yeah I am now gonna go and make some food for the next few nights um, I'm getting really good really in a good uh, rhythm with the working out and the food I'm not doing a diet at the moment uh, what I'm doing though is that I'm plan meal planning as I was doing but more I'm watching a little bit more that the oh, batteries okay could you put them in the blue basket please I asked him to tidy up a little bit on the floor that echo knocked over um, so we were doing the hello fresh the last few weeks and some of the meals are quite high in calories I don't count calories and it's not my what I want to do but it's a good indicator when you look quickly as to how healthy or not a meal is gonna be to, if you want to have a quick glance I know it doesn't tell everything but if you want to look quickly it's a good guide you can actually get the recipes on their website so what I did is that I printed a lot of recipes that were take took under 30 minutes to make and were under 600 calories per portion um, and I've been I've been tracking what I eat not because I'm watching what I eat closely but because if I don't do that and if I don't see it in front of me I can kind of try and pretend to myself that I haven't eaten that first biscuit before the one I'm about to take you know that kind of thing if I write what if I write everything down I know I have to see it in paper and it's I have to be more what's the word what's the word conscious conscious mindful mindful about what I eat so this is what I'm doing and this week in the last week I've lost 1.1 kilo and I'm really happy with this I've also lost uh, some in size at my waist and at my arms and at my thighs so that's good that could all be water retention uh, especially around those areas because that's where when I have water retention it goes to my arms it goes to my thighs and hips a lot and my belly fluctuates a lot depending on digestion so it's I'm not really <coughs> that bothered about small changes in the first week for that but it's nice you know it's it's going down it's it's good so um that all made me feel very happy about my decision to do this and I really am starting to feel like I don't have I was talking about that little voice in my head that tries to convince me that I'm never going to stick to it and it's talking less and less so the fact that I'm ignoring it, it might be getting the message that there's no point in doing it because I'm not going to listen to it so I am feeling really proud of myself because it's something I've struggled my entire life with and it's something I've never kept the like this is day 10 of exercising every day for half an hour I've never done this in my life and I know it's only 10 days but for me it's 10 day more like I think I've, the, the maximum I've done like of consecutive day was two days and then I would take a break most of the time I wouldn't even do two consecutive days um, so yeah i'm just i'm just really happy I, I, I found a good rhythm uh and i think it fits i managed to fit it in my life having the switch and being able to do it anywhere i want in the house has really made a massive difference because if somebody's in the living room i can do it in any room i could actually do it in my in my downstairs toilets or in my utility room if I, well the utility room i wanted to clear it first but you know i could do it in my downstairs toilets because we have a gigantically long it's like a corridor i don't know why but it's, it's just the way they design things so yes i'm really happy with myself and um yeah i want to i want to keep it up i also have more energy i sleep better my belly has been less bad it's not great it's i, hate, I mean it doesn't control everything but it has been less bad so that's still you know i'll take any improvement i'll take uh, and my mental health I'm, i mean my anxiety the last week there's been a lot going on like a lot of disappointments been a bit of a roller coaster and I, I realized that if that happened the week before, I would have been a pure mess. And I managed to get through it and just stay focused and just keep going. And so, yeah, it's not a myth what they say about exercising. Unfortunately, I wish I wish I could prove them wrong, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just going to tell the truth. It's, it's, it's true. It's true. It does make you feel better. It's, it's, it's good for your body and your brain. And everything anyway I'm gonna go and make some food I need to put some laundry on as well James's parents are gonna call around tonight they usually call on Sunday but James's mom was working and uh, they are going away on holidays after so we won't see them for a while so they're gonna call around before they head over 
um, and yeah, I'm yeah, it's been today. They, they've almost murdered each other quite a few times, but overall, I think we did well. So, hopefully, we can continue this over the next few days. Hello, it's Wednesday, and I've tried to film this clip three times, but Aiko started acting quickly. She ate a tiny bit of hot dog pizza from the that was in the sink from a, like one of the scraps on a plate. And she started to do that dry heaving thing, like she was going to throw up. I never had to deal with sick from a cat yet. And I don't want to have to do it today because even though it looks like I've just woken up, it's three in the afternoon and I've been looking like this the last two days. I have been feeling quite unwell. I'm going to try and explain to you in a short version what uh, has happened and why I'm still not feeling great, but I'm over the worst of it now. So, um, on the weekend... <coughs> I had really, really bad nausea and uh, was sick a few times, <coughs> nothing major. And I thought maybe I had indigest indigestion, I can't say that word. Uh, then, um, and I had an earache the whole time. Monday I realized that I actually had an ear infection. We put down the nausea to this and all that. Ear infection got better. And the nausea just wouldn't leave me. And then I started on Monday night to have a very, very familiar pain, which I absolutely hate. Uh, the whole time as well, I had reflux, but I had reflux very often since I got my band operation nine, nine years ago now. Um, so, you know, it's just nothing out of the ordinary for me. Just took over-the-counter medicine for it and all that. Uh, anyway, the nausea hasn't left me. I ended up, even though there was no chance I could be pregnant, I ended up doing a pregnancy test. Just if by any kind of miracle uh, it did happen, it was very unlikely. But you know where your head goes when you start feeling really nauseous for days and you have no clear explanation? This is how it was messing up with my head. And because I have very irregular period, because I have PCOS, I just thought, I'm not going to take the chance, I'm just going to do a test. I'm not pregnant. There's no risk of it. It was not a big surprise. I'm not looking to get pregnant. I think I would have freaked out if I was. But no, I'm not pregnant. And um, before anybody mentions this. Um, and then I started to feel a very familiar pain on Monday night. That pain I have felt many times in my life before, during my entire pregnancy with Owen and a few months after that. And this is the pain of what you feel just before a gallstone attack. And um, I don't have a gallbladder anymore. It was removed when Owen was about three months old. We found out I had really large amount of gallstones in my gallbladder when I was about eight weeks pregnant with Owen. Um, and it was uh, by far the worst pain I've ever felt in my life um, the, during the pregnancy when I had, the, when I was, had a like, full-blown attack. The pain I was feeling was something like pain I can actually manage. It's annoying because it's like it does that this kind of chest pain. And it's I think chest pain in general is always very stressful, and it's because you obviously have a lot of very important organs in there. You always worry, but I knew it wasn't a, like a heart thing or a lung thing. It was clearly a digestive system thing. Um, but anyway, I knew it. I knew exactly what it was. Now, I was warned when I had my surgery that removing the gallbladder doesn't stop gallstones from happening, but it stopped gallstone attack from happening very often because obviously you don't have this little pouch filled with stones ready to fire up that duct <laughs> to get stuck in it and cause massive inflammation and excruciating pain. So I don't have a gallbladder anymore, but my body seems to still be producing gallstones. Um, so it seems like a gallstone got stuck in my, in the duct that's still there. And uh, I, I am confident that it has passed now because it has improved a lot. But it kind of explains all the symptoms I've been feeling. But I have been feeling, yesterday I was absolutely miserable. Absolutely miserable. And today I am still not feeling great, but I am... I'm improving and uh, I'm just mostly completely drained of energy because of how much pain I was in yesterday. It was nothing near a gallstone attack. It wasn't that, you know, in that much pain, but it was just still very bad. I still feel nauseous. I feel like my whole esophagus is completely inflamed. 
So Gabby's Corner is my best friend. I have Ranita Din. I have I have a lot of stuff I can take for it. Um, every time that happens, like it just inflamed my whole digestive tract, which is not the best in the best shape to start with anyway. So it's just I am at the point where I am, um, you know, kind of recovering. So luckily James was able to get um, the day off yesterday because there was no chance I could take care of the boys in the state I was and his parents are away on holidays at the moment so I couldn't ask for help from them and uh, so James helped me and he stayed home today still because um, still wasn't great uh, but I'm hoping he can go back tomorrow now you know he's taken two days off I've rested a lot and I'm still gonna rest the rest of the day and yeah it's just been fun really fun. so I didn't vlog I've Virtually have done nothing. I finished one order I needed to do last night because it needs to be posted today And I've just been updating like decorating my planner and sitting on the couch and I've Finished watching all the sister wives episode to date apart from one which was is available now which I'm gonna watch now um, Yeah, I had been very good and made meal prepped for the next three days on Monday and I have not been able to eat most of the food I've prepared because it's just I just need really bland food right now to be able to you know to cope but anyway I'm hoping I'm on the other side of it now it's just it's just I did not expect this to hit me now and obviously it had to hit at midterm time and but luckily it hit on the week where I have no appointments so you know it's good and bad at the same time so it was it was fun. It was a lot of fun, and I'm still gonna rest for the rest of the day. And there's not much you can do for it anyway. You just have to be patient and wait for it to pass and hope for the best. But um, I don't think it's trapped there anymore because really, I would be still like I know what it's like whenever it gets trapped and the pain doesn't go down until it passes. It just goes up and up and up and up and up. And that's it. So yeah, it's not. I, I, I just didn't think I would have to deal with stuff like this. I was warned about this, and I, I, I mean, I've been lucky. I got my gallbladder out in 2011, and I haven't had a single attack since. So I mean, that's eight years with no attacks. When I was having attacks every every few weeks at that point, so it's. I mean, I got away with it for quite a while, and I think it's just the time now where. It had to catch up. Hopefully it won't happen too much. I know the risks are a lot lower when I don't have a gallbladder anymore, but yeah, it's one of those things. So I am going to take the rest of this to rest. One thing I've been so annoyed at is that I've been setting my... So I've done my 10 days of exercise and I've been setting myself the challenge that I would do 30 consecutive days just to see that 30 day streak on the screen. And yesterday I just... The day before, well, the two days before, I wasn't feeling well and I still did it. And I think I just pushed it a bit far. Yesterday, I thought, if I'm doing this, I am going to collapse and I'm going to end up in the hospital. So the entire day, I tried to convince myself I would find a way to do it, even to do only 15 minutes or something like that, because I didn't want to break my challenge. And I started to obsess over it. And I thought, you know what? No. And James started to <laughs> tell me off, to tell me, like, stop being stupid. You can do... Your, well, he didn't say it like that because James would never speak like that. He doesn't. James is too nice. <laughs> Sometimes I wish he was just telling me just shut up and just stop being an idiot right now. But <laughs> that's not James. Um, I just tried to diplomatically explain to me that this was not a good idea and I should rest. And once I feel well enough, I can do that. So instead, because I wasn't happy with doing nothing on one day, I had a meditation session instead, which was a relaxing thing, so I thought it was good. All this ramble to tell you that the last two days I didn't really vlog because I was feeling a bit miserable. I'm still not great, but I'm getting there and I'm doing what I need to get better. So, yeah, this is my midterm so far. I'm spending the time with my child and my other child and my goldstone and hoping the goldstone gets out of my body very quickly because it's not welcome in here and I'm tired of feeling like I'm in I'm gonna be sick at any time because I feel just really nauseous and I don't like it I'll catch up with you whenever I'm feeling a lot better for now I'm just gonna go and rest watch sister wives I've done my laundry in the meantime that's still something and I'm gonna go before that though spray my stairs with this to hoover 
it has to sit on for two hours and I never get two hours with no child in the way so whether I've done class I'm going to do that we only have carpet on the stairs and landing upstairs and I've hoovered it with a new hoover and every time the amount of dust that comes out of it even though I do it every other week is appalling and I'm just thinking if there's that much dust the amount of dust there must be in there and I'm not gonna lie I've never used I, I used to use like a shaken vac powder thing but it just doesn't didn't do much so I'm gonna use some more heavy duty thing do it properly and hopefully it will mean my carpets are clean for a while. Anyway, I'm going to spray this and leave it on for two hours and then hoover it. But if I'm too tired, James can hoover it when he comes back. And then I'm going to watch episode four, four I think, of Sister Wives. Somebody has been putting them on YouTube in the US and I love them because we don't have access to it here. So thank you very much, Ben, something, 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 for putting them online if you ever see this. Just made something for Alfie and I thought I would show you because he is loving it yeah. and it was actually yeah. he's been asking yeah. every day yeah. multiple times a day yeah. when it's his birthday yeah. so we've made this yeah. little calendar with picture yeah. 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 House. what's this one uh, why, do you want to show them why is Alfie's happy birthday um oh dear here yeah that's alfie's party is here and alfie's happy birthday is here so what i've done is that i've done I've put like a house sticker for um days with no school this is when we bring one to dance class because he comes to the balloons are for parties and the cakes are for birthdays for school i have a little penguin doing homework and i have like a little doctor for medical appointments but this and then when they go for a sleepover I have a sleepover sticker on this way he can go to it and we have like a like a house, magnet house. that he can move yeah. along I didn't yeah. bother filling in the days before because it's no point um, but now it's at its height and he's very happy with it and this why I'm hoping with the visual thing it will help him he's obsessed with numbers so what is it? Uh, and one and green, Lord and dad and started. Do you like your calendar? Yeah. And one and green and Lord and dad and started. One, three, four, five, seven. Yes. Okay. What? Where, which num? Which day is Alf Which number of days Alfie's birthday? Zero. What? Zero. Zero? Yeah. No. What's that number? Thirteen. What is it? No, fifteen. No. It's twenty-five. Twenty-five. He doesn't say. He says eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. <laughs> but it, it actually, you know, it's logical. So. Um, uh, 19, 19, 40, oh, Good morning. We are actually off. To Lucy's birthday party. Lucy is Therese's eldest daughter. She's turning 11 today and she's having a party with friends tomorrow. But as it's midterm, so I'm trying to every time I should just put my seatbelt on first before I start vlogging. As it's midterm, we are gonna go to bring her a present and a card. And I bet you that by the end of the day, my makeup, because I've made an effort today, will be all over my face. Anyway. Uh, we're off now, running slightly late, because those boys are not very good at listening today, are you? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go there. Hello. I just dropped this camera on the floor. Great. We are back. I didn't vlog there. Uh, just didn't feel like vlogging there. And uh, we are back home. Owen is away to scout soon, but this is the state he is in. <laughs> He's wrecked. Alfie is in bed. Uh, he fell asleep on the way back in the car. So what we're gonna do is that James arrives home at half six. Scout starts at half six, but they never start on time. And um, and she's now asleep in his bed, so James is gonna come home and not park. Grab Owen in the car and quickly bring him over. So then he makes it there on time. And I don't need to wake Alfie up. So yeah, um, it was a nice day. But I'm wrecked and I'm glad it's the weekend and I'm either going to stop the vlog here 
depending on how much footage I have when I'm editing or I'll continue with tomorrow so as I said I have look at this do you like the style Owen? of br black spread all over my eye this is lovely can I say something? yeah you can say something come here come over the reason why we don't want to wake out the up is number one you'll be grumpy and number two that there will be of like like all bad things happening at the end so he really needs to rest yeah will we explain what happened yeah so at the end imagine five children were playing together all day and then by the end everybody gets tired and when we were about to leave alfie who is not a huggy child doesn't usually give to pe a hug to people decided he wanted to give a hug to tilda and he hugged her and she tipped backwards and actually fell on top of her and she fell back and banged her head on the floor which is not nice yeah. and it's so hard to deal with stuff like this because it was a pure accident she was really upset as she was wondering what is going on <laughs> i don't think he understood what happened but he was trying he was like whenever he's unsettled he just blinks 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 and he was just doing that just not too sure how he was meant to react I think he was scared he did something wrong when he didn't really do something wrong, he did something right, but it just didn't work out. I guess it's one of that, isn't it? It's like doing a risky action in the... I don't want to say it because I don't want copyright. <laughs> say it, I'm allowing you. But I don't want to... It's okay, we're allowed to talk about things. Like the Sims? In the Sims, we, can, we, we are allowed to say that or when? It is copyright. Owen is very worried about copyright law in general in vlogging. No, we are allowed to talk, we're allowed to say things. I talk about the Sims all the time. Like uh, when you do risky acting, yeah. a little bit like him, doing, yeah. like hugging Tilda as a risky act, and the video was hitting on the hard kitchen floor. Yeah, exactly. So the risky action, like in the Sims, didn't pay off for Alfie, sadly. And it's very hard to deal with this because Tilda was obviously very upset. I was worried for Tilda. She's okay. She's fine. But it's just one of the things where he really tried to do something good and it turned out wrong. And it's very confusing for him. And yeah. So he fell asleep in the car. I think it took a lot out of him, the whole thing. So we're going to let him sleep. And you're going to put your jumper and your scarf thing on. Are you okay? You, want, you didn't like that today, did you? No. No. How does it make you feel when that happens? I feel scared. I don't know why. Did you see, were you worried that Tilda got really hurt? Yeah, when people get hurt like that, I really... It, get, it upsets you, doesn't it? Yeah. And then you were worried for Alfie because he tried something nice and it didn't work out? Yeah. Yeah. Too many emotions mixed together, isn't it? Yeah. Too many mix of emotion and then you don't know how what to do with them. So, we're going to have hugs, and then Owen is going to go to Scats, and I think you're going to do something with chocolate, I'm not sure what. Melting chocolate something, or... Oh, making good chocolate. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know, it's... A, hold on, I got a message. If you find my phone, they can send a message, because it's different leaders today during the thing, because the usual ones are not there. One is called Trish. I think... It's the one from last time, or something like that. Well, anyway, they're making something with chocolate. Um and uh, yeah so the plan for the weekend is that tomorrow we have dance class we need to get the catherine mot wash because i have my mot next week and then we are hopefully off to ikea and to decathlon uh to decathlon i need to buy i have a list of things i need to buy by may time when i have a trip coming out uh, and i need to have some equipment for it and we need to get owen a backpack for scouts and a torch and a bottle that he can keep just for that um we have to drive to belfast so it's usually it's not somewhere we can easily get to so we usually wait until we have quite a few things to do in that area and then drive over so we haven't gone round to going there since he started scouts and we had found one online for the backpacks that was good and um it's out of stock and i think it's going to be with the budget we have and for the quality we want the castle is a safe bet so we're going to hopefully get there tomorrow and then sunday What's the plan for Sunday? It's a... 
pajama and cozy day. Yeah, we need a we all need a cozy day. Uh, so yes, I'm probably going to stop this here. If yeah. not, cue the Saturday trip to Belfast.